Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna talk about how I transformed this holly into a small topiary right at my entrance, okay? As you can see here, I took my trimmer and I shaved it up just like I wanted it. Here's a picture of the before and after. A lot of people like this result. Some people say it looks like a wave, some a leaf, some, um, to me it looks like fire, I think it looks like fire. But um, I'm going to show you how I got this done. What you'll need is your hedge trimmer like this, and um, it's my Black & Decker uh, 20, I think it's 21 inch hedge trimmer, okay? I'm going to go ahead and transform this into this, okay? So... Stay tuned and um, let's just cut the crap. All right, guys. So, um, as you can see here, I am starting to uh, clear some of this uh, mess out here. <laughs> what I mean by mess, but just the stuff that's sticking out where I just don't want it anymore. I'm softening up the edges here. To me, I think topiary should have, you know, smooth edges. Um, I just find that more attractive. I don't want my shrubs to look like Legos, you know, boxy. I, I just, I feel that's so boring. Um, and, you know, I'm just cutting out some of this excess here in the front. Once again, smoothing out edges. I want it to have that round look. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you, um, you know, the final product. I'm going to show you both of them, you know, and I'm sure you're going to like it. Now, I've been wanting to um, mention one of my friends on YouTube and on Instagram. Um, her channel is called um, Velvet and Toes, and she lives in France. And um, she married a French man. She's uh, originally from California. And her channel is all about home and garden. She has recipes and stuff. And she does indoor topiary. And that's how I've seen her channel. So um, check that out. I'm going to leave the link in the descriptions on this video. So if you want to check that out, check it out. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Um, and also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Um, like, share, comment. I want to know what you guys, you know, think about my work. Um, and also, for these hedge trimmers, I have a review uh, as well. So you can check that out as well. Now I'm just digging deep here, going down, cutting out the bottom there. I like to have my shrubs have thin bottoms, you know. Um, it just, you know, it, it kind of airs it out. It um, makes the artwork stand out. And yes, I call it artwork because that's what this is. You know, it's a form of art and it's such an old form of art. Um, uh, and here I'm cleaning up the back. As you can see, you see my hand motion. I go up and, you know, from down to up. Sometimes the harder pieces, I do have to come down on them and just to rip through. Eventually, I'm going to have to get these hedge trimmers sharpened. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, they dull out after you use them so much. And as, as you can see, I love to do this stuff, so I do use them a lot. Yep.
Okay guys, so I'm done using the hedge trimmer. Um, now, as you can see, it is mimicking the shape. I just have to clean it up, you know. This one was thicker, it had more growth. This one was thinner, so I'm working with a little less. But let me just show you different um, perspective. You can see that whole wave, you know, coming along, and then that's the finish over there. And I'm gonna clean this up now with, of course, my Galadim topiary shears right here. Okay, so I'm gonna take care of that. And I'm going to show you the finished product. Thank you. There it is, guys. Finished product. Whew. I'm getting this angle so you can see it in front of that wall. So you can see that curve I did. You know, mimicking the same shape I did here. I'm trying to. This one did have more growth than this one. So I was working with less shrub. But it's going to eventually fill in. That's the beauty about, you know, topiary, that, um, you know, you conduct the shape. You're the master of your domain. You know, you, you are the one controlling this plant. It doesn't control you. Um, this is a species of holly, and um, I just love it. It's so dense, so thick, and, um, you know, it's great to carve with. If you're in um, the Florida area, Georgia, I think even Texas, um, these are available in your area because it's a, I think a zone um, seven and eight. So you are good to go with this. It, so, but thank you for watching my channel. If you haven't hit the um, subscribe button, please do so. So you can see videos like this. I also do reviews of products. Um, the Galadim shears, as a matter of fact, um, there's a review of that product in my channel and um, make sure you share this video comment hit the like button you know and um, thank you very much uh, I really appreciate your support all right have a good one